If the manufacturer has already made the model of the component, so the symbol and its uh, footprint, and it gives it online, available for the users, then what you can do, you can use the manufacturer part search function in Lalitium. How does it look like? Well, whether you go to the component and click on the, if you scroll down and click on the manufacturer part search here, or you can go to panels and choose the manufacturer part search here. In any case, you can search and FT231X find several hits. You can choose maybe this one. And what you get is a list of the find items. Let's go, let's say, to that one here. It opens a website in Octopart. An Octopart provides an online service for searching among the different suppliers. And these are the suppliers here, which um, stock the FTDI chip and you get their codes, the stock, the minimum order quantity, the prices and so on. So this is all, this is just one part. The other part is, is that all the data are downloaded immediately. So all the parameters, as you see here, the symbol, the pattern or the footprint, the footprints of different in, uh, levels of density, so medium, low, medium and high, and the links to the data sheets. Everything is downloaded in the same time. And you can actually place the component directly. Maybe you can just drag and drop and you use it. But where is this component stored? In what library it is stored? You can go to component properties and you will see that it uses so-called Altium Content Vault Library. It's not a local file-based library, but actually it's online cloud service from Altium. Of course, you can work with it. The other option is that instead of using the online Altium Vault Library, you can actually download it directly here. You choose where to, you save it, and then the library will be downloaded and let me check again where it is I will just click download again so that you can find the folder it is here in the zip you had the you have the lib package the PCB library and schematic library of this FTDI chip you can extract it and um, copy it to your local folder somewhere and compile it in Altium in order to use it directly and then you have everything about that chip locally which i think is a better option because you can have a full control of it